you want to get started in making your own YouTube videos. In this video, I'm going to go over the four things you need to get started. Stay tuned. When I first started making videos, I had no idea what equipment I needed to buy or more importantly, what equipment I didn't need to buy. And the thing I hated the most was spending my hard earned money and time looking for and getting gear that I didn't even need. Let's go over the four things you're gonna need to start making your YouTube videos so you can join this great community of YouTube creators like me. Number one, and I'm sure you've guessed it, it's gonna be a camera. But not just any camera. You need a camera that shoots HD video. Now most DSLRs, handy cams, and cell phones today shoot HD video. You could also use an iPod Touch, an iPad, your iPhone, or even an iPhone that you're not using anymore as a phone. Don't have any of these. What you could do is you could borrow one from a friend. Next thing you're gonna need is a tripod. What the tripod does is it keeps your camera steady and it prevents your video from being shaky. That can kind of irritate the viewers. You can get a tripod from Walmart for less than $15. If you can't get access to a tripod, what you could do is you could set your camera on something sturdy like a book or against a flower pot. You could even go outside and lean your camera on top of the hood of your car, even inside of the car on the dash. But be very, very careful because if you don't use a tripod, you increase the chances of your camera crashing. I am not responsible for replacing your equipment while you're making your YouTube videos. The third thing you're gonna need is great light. And starting out, you don't even have to go out and purchase anything. You don't have to get those expensive soft boxes or umbrellas. You don't even have to go to Lowe's and get what they call a can light. One of the best sources of light is absolutely free, the sun. The sun is a great source of light. However, you gotta be careful and you have to make sure that you try not to shoot in direct sunlight. You wanna shoot in a shade, on a cloudy day, a rainy day, and if you can't do that, get some diffusion material and put that between you and the sun or whoever you're filming. What this does is it prevents harsh light falling onto you or whoever you're filming. Harsh light causes harsh shadow and also harsh light isn't pleasing to the viewer's eye. Now the fourth thing you're gonna need is great audio. It's probably one of the most important of the four things you're gonna need. Great audio has been found to make up 85% of your video quality. That means if you have shaky video, bad lighting, you still have great audio, the chances are higher that your viewer will watch your videos to the end. Don't use a camera's onboard microphone unless you're really, really close or it's an absolute emergency. I could go on and on and probably take up several hours to discuss all the microphones that are available on the market for your particular device. This video wasn't planned to be that long. Here's a ninja tip. You can take your iPhone earbud slash microphone and use that as a microphone. You plug it directly into your device and you can either clip it here or wear it like you normally would. The reason this works so much better is because of the proximity or the closeness to your mouth that the microphone is. If you don't have these or if you lost them, which I've done, go to Walmart and pick up a pair of these in a generic version for less than $10. Trust me, I've done it. They're on clearance all the time. Sound is one of the most important of the four things that you need to get started making your YouTube videos. Let's do a recap. Number one, you're gonna need a camera that shoots high definition video. Number two, you're gonna need a tripod to make sure that your video isn't shaky. Number three, you're gonna need good lighting and a free source is the sun. Just avoid filming in direct sunlight. Number four, but probably the most important, good audio. Get an external microphone. You can start out with an iPhone earbud slash microphone set and go up from there. I hope you liked this video. If you did, subscribe to my channel. And if you didn't, leave a comment or suggestion below in the comment box. And until next video, thanks for watching.